Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the immediate and long term responses to weather hazards. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A The Challenge of Natural Hazards. After a weather hazard such as a tropical storm occurs, immediate and long term responses help the recovery effort, but these may differ between countries at different stages of economic development. Immediate responses are the aid and assistance that are given within the first few hours or days following a disaster. These are often referred to as the emergency responses and they are vital in reducing the death toll, particularly in low income countries. Immediate responses include evacuating people following a warning. Using weather forecasting means that people generally know when and where a storm will hit. They also include the search and rescue effort trying to rescue people trapped under buildings that have been flattened by winds, for example, as well as using social media to aid search and rescue operations. In addition, they include medical care for the sick and injured. This might be in the form of checking people for broken bones or administering painkillers or antibiotics. Furthermore, they include providing temporary shelter for those who have lost their homes usually in the form of large community buildings. Finally, providing food and clean bottled water is an important part of the immediate response effort as food and water supplies are often destroyed in a tropical storm. Widespread flooding often leads to outbreaks of waterborne diseases such as cholera. The main aim of immediate responses is to minimise the loss of life. Usually in low income countries, the victims are dependent on support from high income countries, so emergency aid may take a few days to come through. This is one of the reasons that the death toll in low income country events tends to be higher. One major problem that makes the immediate response difficult is that tropical storms often hit island nations, like those across the Caribbean. This means ports and airports are vital when bringing in supplies. However, these are often out of action due to storm damage. When Typhoon Haiyan struck in the Philippines, over 12,000 evacuation centres were set up to help the homeless. The UK government sent shelter kits which could provide emergency shelter for a family. And French, Belgium and Israeli field hospitals were set up to help the injured. Long-term responses are those that take place in the weeks and months after a weather hazard event. They focus on rebuilding and reconstruction of areas that have suffered extensive damage. The aim is to help people return to their normal lives as quickly as possible, but to also risk, reduce the risk of damage from natural hazards in the future. On screen, there is an image of an electricity company trying to restore power after hurricane damage. Long-term responses include restoring essential utilities that have been affected by the tropical storm. For example, repairing gas mains and electricity cables to ensure that energy sources are restored, as well as repairing water pipes to make sure that people are not without a supply of drinking water for too long. Buildings have to be repaired too, or completely rebuilt. This includes both domestic and commercial properties. There is also the repair of transport infrastructure, including roads and railways, as well as reopening ports and airports. This is extremely important as damaged infrastructure makes it very difficult to bring in emergency supplies. The process is very costly, so it can take years to happen in LICs. Another response is working to rehome people who are living in temporary accommodation. Three months after Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans in August 2005, over 50,000 families were still living in temporary housing. So this process can take a long time. Finally, long-term responses also include putting measures in place to minimise future risk or damage or loss of life. This is through monitoring, prediction, protection and planning. In terms of tropical storms, this might mean building higher sea walls to hold back storm surges or building concrete cyclone shelters in low income countries. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the immediate and long term responses to weather hazards. 
Thank you for watching.